But I will say this. I have my critiques about Kellen Moore just from experience. So this is just some stuff for y'all to, to think about. Kellen Moore runs a variation of the Air Coriel system. So within the Air Coriel system is a very pass centric uh, scheme. So he does. He's not really a guy that's going to run the football, you know, a, a lot. Like he, yep. like he, he might need to be paired with a run game coordinator or something like that. But when you when you when you utilize the Air Coriel system, one of the things that's already baked into that scheme is option routes. Right, most most of the wide receivers will have the ability to either sit the route down, take it to the outside, take it to the inside, depending on the coverage. Now that works two ways, right? In theory, which is always different from practice. In theory, that means you're a more multiple offense, and you can and you always will have an answer to the defense. But what usually happens sometimes, though, is there will be interceptions because the wide receiver and the quarterback are are not going to be on the same page. You may trick the wide receiver. You, it, you may not even be the, the quarterback that's fooled by the coverage. You may show the wide receiver something that's not there. The quarterback is going to see what's really there, and they're not on the same page. Pe- so people were talking about why Dak Prescott had so many interceptions uh, in the 2022 season. A lot of those were miscommunications between the quarterback and the wide receiver on those said option routes. That's why when Dak Prescott moved to a West Coast system, which is more pure progression, one, two, three, I know where every wide receiver will be uh, on the play. That's why he dropped back down to having nine interceptions while throwing for 36 touchdowns. So there's there's a give and take to it, right? So if they get in there, put the film work in together, uh, spend some extra time in the lab, they can make it work for the most part. But there will be instances where where the uh, Air Coriel, the option routes, will get Jalen Hurts and the wide receivers in, into trouble. It will also it's also going to interest me to see what Jalen Hurts rushing numbers will look like in a in a Kellen Moore offense. Because what people don't realize is that Prescott rushing numbers dropped well before he got injured. The first three years of his of his career, he had 18 rushing touchdowns total. He literally had six 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 and some some decent rushing numbers. The first year in Kellen Moore's offense, that 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 one was cut in half. He only ended up with three that season. Now he had his career high in passing yards, right? He was like a, a yard short from breaking Tony Romo's uh, franchise record. But the the dual threat of Dak Prescott was diminished that season, and then he never got back to that one due to the injury and two due to the scheme itself. So that's one thing that I am going to be curious about with, with uh, Jalen Hurts. How well will, will your wide receivers and him uh, do with option routes and how much will he actually allow Jalen Hurts to run in his scheme? There will be games where Jalen Hurts has 50 pass attempts. The difference in Jalen Hurts having a three touchdown game and having a three interception game is having wide receivers like A.J. Brown out there. Especially smart wide receivers. I don't think A.J. Brown is dumb. I think he's emotional. But I, you got to be a pretty smart wide receiver to run the. Oh, that's some shit I didn't touch on with y'all. You're gonna need to get you a veteran wide receiver and not a rookie wide receiver because it takes a lot to to learn the Air Coriel uh, offense. Right. Because we've seen back to back seasons where young rookie wide receivers struggled in 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 uh, Kellen Moore's offense. Jalen Tolbert did not have any impact at all uh, in Kellen Moore's system. He left. He put up better production. Uh, they had a first round pick wide receiver over there in Quentin Johnson, and he was awful in, in, in that system trying to understand those uh, those option routes. Because remember, in an option route, you change it dependent on the coverage. You it is not just a hey, I'm gonna run a slant, I gotta be this deep. I might have to run a slant, I might have to run an in and out, I might have to run a curl. I don't really know what the hell I'm gonna run until I know the coverage. And that takes a lot of time to understand as a young wide receiver just now getting their feet wet in the NFL. The only wide receiver that I saw have success in this in this system was CeeDee Lamb. He is the only one. And as quiet as kept, they changed a lot of the stuff they, they, that they did offensively when Dak Prescott got hurt. 